of those is joining me now on the line. Her name is Erin Stewart. She is a 26-year-old Central Connecticut State University graduate. She's running for office, and she's not just running for any office. She wants to be the next mayor of New Britain. And we also have Tara Sunday calling us from Winstead. She is running for town clerk, and she's also from my hometown of Heartland. So welcome very much to the show to both of you. Let's start with you, Erin. You're 26 years old. You want to be mayor. It's a bit of an uphill battle, but not one that you can't do. I mean, you're going against an incumbent in a very highly democratic town. I believe the margin's like seven to one, but you're doing this. Why? What's motivating you? Hi, Sally. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me on today. Oh, you're yes. welcome. <laughs> you're right. I am outnumbered uh, about six to one in the city of New Britain, uh, Democrat to Republican. But that doesn't mean that we can't get the job done. Um, I was motivated to run for mayor for many reasons, but most being seeing the deterioration of my hometown and watching a lot of divisive politics go on and a lot of personal uh, favor being uh, given to people and understanding that it's not the most responsible way to run a government. It's becoming very frustrating to watch uh, the, the, the mistrust that's been occurring and, and leading our public to believe uh, things that just simply are true. And uh, transparency and openness is, is government 101, and I want to bring faith back to our government. And, and you're 26 years old. I mean, obviously a young woman, but by no means are you a stranger to politics. Your dad was also mayor. Yes, he was. He was mayor of New Britain for eight years. So this is nothing new to me. Uh, I, I grew up in this. My great uncle actually was a former Democratic state representative from New Britain for many years as well. So I guess you could say I'm genetically programmed to be bipartisan. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let, let's check in with Tara Sunday real quickly, too. Tara, hi. Thanks for joining us. As I mentioned, Tara is running for town clerk in the state the town of Winchester, otherwise known as Winstead. How are you, Tara? I'm well, thank you, and thanks for having me. Well, we had ta I've talked to you before about this, about your willingness to run for office, and, and you're a young mom, and you said, I mean, there's been some issues in Winstead having to do with the, the former financial director getting arrested for allegedly embezzling some money, a lot of money, and, and you're saying, you know, that there are some dark days in Winstead now, and you're a young mom, and you want to get involved because it's time that there's a change, a new face in power. Is that is that what's motivating you? Did I do a good job <laughs> summarizing? I think you did. Um, you know, my, my daughter is, uh, is a toddler right now, but we are certainly looking at putting her in school soon. Um, and just considering kind of the, the climate in, in Winstead right now, uh, I think it's important that we we set her up um, with the best situation possible, and and uh, I you know I feel compelled because we plan on staying in town, um, and uh, I feel like hey I, there's something I can do here you know, and uh, and I'm trying to do that. Right, and running for office is no easy matter, Erin. Let's talk a little bit about that. You you must be out pounding the pavement every day sitting in my car. I took a break. I'm out door knocking. I'm in the, the Farmington Hills area of New Britain at the moment. We are, our goal is to knock on about 8,000 doors over the next, next week or so. So, but we've been doing that since June and we've covered over 70% of the city so far, pounding the pavement, making the phone calls, getting in contact with voters, bringing our, our message of change to them. And it's been uh, very well receptive. And what about you, Tara? Oh, doing the same thing. I mean, I think that door knocking is absolutely critical, um, especially in my situation where not as many people know my face or know my name. Um, so I haven't hit nearly as many doors as Aaron, and congratulations. I think that's great. Um, it's certainly motivation for me as well. Um, but I would, I can easily say hundreds of doors. Um, but, yeah, it, it, that's for a... Door knocking is, is one of the key parts of uh, campaigning and, and getting to know people as well. Okay, I'm getting some developing news here, not really, into the station. We are going to have to take a quick break for uh, uh, emergency broadcasting test, I believe, Tony. Is that what we're doing? So we just got word of that. So sorry about that. That's going to be at 3.38, but hopefully you can stay around and, and we'll be back with you um, because I would like to talk to you more, Erin and, and, and Tara, about the recent study. And are you surprised that there are not more women running for office? Is that something that you find surprising? Do you think that perhaps that your generation is changing this, hopefully? 
My whole goal in this is to bring attention to the fact that, that our younger generation should be paying attention to local politics. Not only our younger generation, but everybody in, in general. Some people think that voting is, is only every four years. However, municipal elections are the most important because we have the ability to affect your your lives on a daily basis. And, and decisions that we make today will could have the potential to change your lives tomorrow. And I, I think that if anything out of this whole thing, um, bringing attention to local politics and, and informing my generation that your vote matters is what's most important. All right. And are you are you are people surprised that you're so young and running for office? We have only like a few seconds here and then I'm gonna put you on pause. Uh, no, they don't. <laughs> They're not well of course you're the former mayor's daughter, but good for you guys. Okay, so we're gonna put you on pause. If you can stick around, we will be back in a few minutes to talk about more women, young women running for office in seven seconds. But right now we have in for Mary Jones that we have Aaron Stewart 26 year old running for the mayor of New Britain I always want to say New Britain because again you know I'm from Connecticut it's hard to say that to really articulate it correctly and we also have Tara Sunday calling us from the lovely town of Winstead where I went to high school too so it's great to have you both on Tara what kind of reaction are you getting out in the field oh I'm getting I'm getting a very uh, positive reaction a posse perfectly honest with you um i think people are ready for a change there um but i think a lot of women um are able to relate obviously to to other women and and uh so i think people really liked that um especially being a mother you know i think it's been a while since there's been um somebody with a, a younger family in office there so it's been pretty well received okay and aaron what what do you plan on doing the, the final week how are you feeling about election day I'm feeling great. My team is motivated. I have my candidates all out there. We've got uh, about 25 of us running for different offices throughout the city. So between all of us and our friends and family and volunteers, we're pounding the pavement. We're working the phones. And our, our response has been wonderful. Um, something unique about what I was able to do this time around was we didn't endorse all Republicans to run with me on the slate. We've got a mixture of Democrats, unaffiliated, uh, even a libertarian running with us as well. And that message of what I like to call fusion slate is resonating very well with New Britain voters who are, are very independent minded. Well, that's smart as well because you're going to need Democrats and unaffiliated voters voting for you in order to win. I'm not saying that that's your only motivation, but I think people are tired of the politics locally uh, in Washington, p perhaps more than ever. The polarized Democrats and Republicans, can't we all get along? I think that this is proof that perhaps you can get along if you have them running on your ticket that's pretty impressive Aaron absolutely we our motto is progress not politics and and we prefer uh, people over politics so we're bringing that message home and what's the number one issue you're running what's the number one issue on your your platform well there's a lot of number one issues in the city of New Britain but I think most importantly is uh, restoring trust in government and bringing civility back not only that but uh, reinstating the conversation it doesn't seem like we have what the, a true democracy in New Britain there's, there's really no hardy conversation on our city council it's kind of you know one my way or the highway the mayor says one thing the council just nods their heads and goes okay okay I want to bring back that conversation bring back that uh, different ideas and viewpoints because working together is what's going to make our, our city thrive again would you study Aaron in college uh, public administration good for you good for you <laughs> well I wish you the best of luck it truly is a pleasure speaking with you you sound like a, a, a lovely young woman and you're motivated and, and you're making a difference and that I applaud and Tara I'd also like to say the same about you you're a young woman running for office making a difference and I, I'd like to give you a, a few seconds here Tara to you know kind of wrap up the, the notion of your campaign as well um, ours is, uh, you know, just some fresh faces and, and a new direction for Winstead uh, is really what we're looking for and kind of trying to put, uh, like Erin said, and I really like how she said that, uh, putting the politics behind um, and uh, and just moving forward and, and, and taking Winstead where we want it to go, you know, which is hopefully to uh, make bring new co uh, families in and, and make them feel comfortable, make them feel like a, a part of the community and, and that 
I love how she said that because it really does start on a, on a municipal level, you know. Um, Our politics really are local. Yeah, and, and do, you, do you see yourself, do you see both of yourselves as, as role models perhaps, hoping that, listen, you know, other women will look at you and say, wow, you know, I, I can run for office as well. Maybe I should get out there. And I like to hope so. <laughs> what, what advice would you give to someone who's thinking about running for office, Erin? Don't think about it, just do it. Because you may not realize it, but you can make a, a very uh, big difference in your, in your town. And a lot of it is a confidence. Uh, uh, a lot of women suffer from not thinking that they can do it and not feeling confident about themselves. But just don't think, do. Well, I think that's excellent advice. It's kind of how I, I steer my life as well. What was the, what was the um, biggest learning curve for you so far, would you say, Erin? The biggest learning curve for me, um, that's a good question. <laughs> I think that it's been uh, very challenging to to manage a, a team of 20 some odd different types of, of people and bringing those different parties as with our candidates together. Um, you have a lot of different ideas, a lot of points been wonderful to get everybody's different take on on an issue you know something as simple as as taxes uh the beauty of it is that i have that democracy in my campaign meetings and that's exactly what i want to see in new britain city hall good for good for you i'm very proud of both of you and tara what what again would you like people to know about you as we wrap things up um you know just uh hopefully that uh to let people know that yes yeah, Darren said, and I don't mean to keep uh, piggybacking her, but, uh, you know, people can get involved and people can make a difference. Um, and, and I'd really like to see that, you know, moving forward. Like I said, just kind of putting their politics behind and, and hopefully taking the town in a new direction, um, bringing in new business and, uh, and uh, putting the financial distresses behind us. Right, because, the, you know, we, we all have to have hope. And, and right. again, I, I love Winston, and I love New Britain, too. So, you know, we, we have to believe in better days ahead. And I applaud you both for running for office. Thank you so much. Again, joining me was Tara Sunday. She's running for town clerk in Winston. And we also have the lovely young lady running for mayor of New Britain, Aaron Stewart. When we come back.